Well, f first of all, <clears throat> I just as as um, as a resident of the city myself, I want to um, acknowledge some people I deeply respect today. Um, Councillor Glenn de Bearmaker and Councillor Krista Montam, thank you very much for uh, bringing this uh, to Council to provide us an opportunity to, say, to take a stand on something that I believe is so important uh, to contribute to a global movement, an ethical movement, and I'm glad to be part of it. Uh, Councillor uh, Michelle Berardnetti for her active role in this uh, to encourage uh, us to support this and also to provide very strong arguments behind it uh, for those who had questions. And to any other councillor who's played that role as well. Um, I also want to acknowledge the many activists and residents who have been involved in this movement as well. Um, I know how much work it takes to um, go towards various levels of government, including ours, <clears throat> rallying the troops, getting people to write, getting the people to phone, and contact their councillors as well. And I deeply respect what you've done. You're, you're really the reason that we're here discussing this and, 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 and hopefully uh, moving uh, forward on it. Um, and lastly, I just want to make one comment on why I support this. Um, I've always believed in, in, in the principle that, that our societies are judged by how we treat our animals. And, you know, un, un, you know unlike that flying shark before, which I know, which I know is just a, a, a cute effort. Um, they're not, you know, our animals aren't able to have a voice the way that we have creating legislation, creating policy that affects not only us and our, our human society, but those who we love and consider part of our families and our greater global family. Uh, and frankly, we often forget as we put on our suits and live in this world here in our cities that actually we would not exist and we would not have the health we have without our fellow earthlings who share this planet. So I'm just so proud and I'm so, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to stand here and be able to support such an important motion. And uh, I also will remind all of us that uh, there, are some, um, there, there is an amendment here that, uh, that may want to take us off that track. And I'd ask you to, to read it and understand that it doesn't make much sense. Oh, by the way, I also want to acknowledge the councillors who have very large Chinese communities in their wards and for uh, the leap of faith and the courage that they're going to demonstrate today to do the right thing, to be our better selves, and to move away from the polarization that we often see and, and, uh, and come together. And I don't want to forget, Councillor Palacio, the chair of our, our Licensing and Standards Committee, who without exception made one of the most inspiring, beautiful, and eloquent speeches I've heard in this place. And I thank you for that.